Hi and welcome back to my playthrough of Wilderness, a game of survival. There was an interesting question on my YouTube channel and this was to the fact if this space here is adjacent to this river here. It's really barely touching the rocky area over here so a white player might have been allowed to drink there. To be honest, I'm not so sure. It might have been and it might have changed some outcome for the white player or at least some results or maybe his exhaustion might be at a different level now and he might have more energy. But I, this is something I cannot take back at this point in time. So it's really tough to <laughs> recognize if this is now really still a piece of water of the river ends before it touches this rocky land here. I really don't know. But really thanks to making me or for making me aware that I might have made a mistake here. The next open question I still have is if you are allowed to do a sleep action if you don't have any energy at all because during one of the last turns I believe the black player sent something to the red player or vice versa I cannot really recall at this point in time and I, I think it was a red player who was not allowed to sleep basically and to restore his energy level. And it really doesn't say that you need to spend some energy. It only says spend the entire turn and use it to exhaustion four steps. So I'm really tempted to give the red player the four levels of exhaustion back because really it's it's just, just a start. It's not saying you need at least to have one um, energy point and you are still also allowed to drink if you are um, sleeping and don't have any energy left so I think in this case it would be fair to give four energy points to the red player. But now we can get started and I think it's the white player's turn. It might be boring but I think he really has to sleep again because with just three energy points I think he doesn't won't come very far. So yeah, let's let's spend his entire turn. He's still allowed to drink though, but apart from that he won't do much in this turn. So for once he can reduce his thirst and he gains also one, two, three, four levels of exhaustion back. Or he loses four levels of exhaustion. And at least for the next turn he has four energy left and this might really bring him something. Let's see. Red will do something very odd this turn. At least it might seem so. So he will move into the area of this wolf. So there is no immediate attack. They will only attack during the nature's turn. And now he will play the escape card. And this says play during your turn when you stand in the same area as an animal, which we do. Move away one area at no cost and then receive two extra energy for this turn. So he immediately gets those two area, uh, energy points left he had to spend when moving to this rocky area. So he will now be allowed to move away one area at no cost. He will move into this forest region here and in the forest region he is now allowed to drink. So this goes all the way to the left. Red still has his full four energy point, uh, five energy points left because of this card now. So I think he will move away from this wolf. So he will move to this mountain area. He still has one energy point left. Unfortunately, this is not enough to rest. So I think he has to, yeah, skip or more or less ignore the remaining one energy point but at least he managed to get away from this wolf and also to get closer to the village okay let's come to the black players black still has six full energy so i think he will do the same or <laughs> we will try to do the same as during his last turn so he will move here two energy four energy six energy and I'm really tempted, yeah, why not, let's do that, to play this determination card, which says, play during your turn to receive three extra energy. And I guess with those, he will just move into this area. Oh, okay, then he might, no, he just lose one point, that's not 
entirely bad. For now, this is fine for him. He's now definitely in the lead. Awesome. Of course, he's also allowed to reduce his thirst because he started in the mountain area and the mountain area was adjacent to the river. Let's quickly do the nature's turn. So this is good for him. So he only loses or gains one level of exhaustion. Oh, and for him it's getting really dramatic now. And I was, ah, this was a bad idea. I shouldn't have moved into the mountain area because red player is not allowed to search for food there. Now, okay, we cannot help it. So this goes down and this goes down, though his hunger is already at two, which means he loses one, two, three levels of energy. But this is okay. He still has five energy points left for the next turn. And then we come here, one, one, and one. So he's really doing fine. Let's move the snake first. That's a six. The snake will move here to the northeast. The wolf, the wolf will also move to the northeast, which is, I think, very important, especially for the red player. So he might move into the mountain area and then might search for food during his next oh no i think it's not possible for him to do that during his next turn because you need four energy points yeah that's tough okay i think he has to spend two more turns and might go to the forest here let's move the weather marker right he's still close to a river so he can put his thirst track to the left and i think he will move two points here he still has two more to go so he will just move also one space ahead so he's also finally making some progress i think overall that's definitely not too bad red will move here into the forest area and uh, therefore he spends three energy points and with his remaining two energy points he will take a rest action which gives him back one level of energy here before Black moves, he will play the Berry Bush card, and this would allow him to reduce his hunger five steps. But because of his wounded arm here, he can only decrease his hunger four steps. One, two, three, four, which is okay for him, I guess. Okay, he has still six energy points. So, with three, he will move to this space, and then we will reveal the final landscape tile okay this is another forest area and there is no animal on the board here and we have really some swarms which is they have to go through here so we will definitely see some more sickness cards popping up sooner or later when they try to make it to the village but okay for him that should be okay and he still has three more movement points left so he will just move one space ahead into the next forest area nature's turn one and two he's still at four that's good one two three only down also down to four and he's doing great Phew, unbelievable Snake first, that's a one, the one is here, the wolf, it's a six, oh come on. Okay, I think the wolf won't be a problem anymore during this game. Again, the last hours of daylight on day two here, and I guess white will search for food here in the grasslands. Yeah, I think he, he should really do that. Again, we will roll two dice. Oh, come on, that's a one. So with a one, you get lost during your search for food. So again, we have to roll for him. That's a five. So he will move into this swarm area up there. Wow, this is really awful. <laughs> oh, come on, he's really not very lucky. Which also means we would have to draw a sickness card for this poor fella. And this says, catch a cold. You immediately increase your thirst, hunger and exhaustion one step each. Poof. Okay, let's do that. And unfortunately, because he was moved there because of getting lost, he's not allowed to drink. So you cannot take 
any actions anymore so and this really includes drinking as well so his thirst gets worse and also one exhaustion okay well this is really this was really a tough day for him <laughs> oh come on okay but good thing is we can discard the sickness card at least red will do the same or he has to do the same he really needs to find something to eat wow he's definitely more lucky he can decrease his hunger 11 steps one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven back to his starting position this was perfect for the red player and before black moves white will play a card on him this says exhaustion each opponent increases their exhaustion one step you can play it any time, but I think let's do it before he really starts his turn. Because this means black will start the next round with only 5 energy. But of course, we also have to do that for the red player. But still, with 5 movement points, it's really not a problem for him to move 3 energy points to the forest and 2 to this grassland up there. Coming back to nature's turn. So he would lose now two levels one and two so for him it's really getting damn serious but i think during the next turn yeah he might yeah he has to sleep i think there's there's no way around it red is okay i guess so he only gets one level of exhaustion and black is okay as well of course let's move the snake that's a one We'll move into this mountain area and the wolf he will move into the snake pit here okay well luckily lucky for him the snake is gone but of course the animals won't fight each other in this game let's move into the night of day two and white will really just only take a sleep action yeah that's the only thing that he can do do right now so it gets back one two three four levels of energy which is kind of okay i guess but still he will lose some more points during this night and at least he's allowed to reduce his thirst because he's still close or next to a river i think red will also sleep one two three four and as black is really in the lead, I think he will do the same. One, two, three, and four. Nature's turn. One, 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 and two. So again, he's down to three energy. He really comes into a bad situation as well. So one and one. So one and two levels of exhaustion he would gain. And yeah, I think he's quite okay. One one but he's losing two or he's gaining two levels of exhaustion but he's still doing good with six energy points again let's move the snake that's a four so the snake will move to the west the wolf will move oh yeah closer to the players at least kind of and then we will move the weather marker one space ahead White still needs to take sleep action, so that's one, two, three, and four. That's basically the only thing he can do. He's still allowed to reduce his thirst because he's still close to a river. And red will do the same. One, two, three, and four. Black is really not in the hurry. He might be able to move into the swamp area, but for once he would have to roll his die and hope for a four or higher in order to not get lost. And then he would be, or he might get moved somewhere else rather than to the area he decided to go to and of course he also would need to draw a sickness card but the sickness card is something he has to draw anyway during the next day he will be able to draw a new event card or well, maybe one or two but the others as well so this could be a risk for him as well because he's the lead and he knows everyone will play cards against him now but i think for now he's really that much ahead i think no, he won't take a risk here and will just sleep as well. So quickly roll for the snake. The snake would move here, so it would move. And the wolf goes into the desert. 
whatever he's searching there. I don't know. And then we draw our next weather cards and the players are still pretty lucky as the weather seems to be pretty fair. Drifting clouds, each player draws one card. And just to let you know that are there are cards out there that are let's say definitely different than the one for example the lightning here so we have three night phases but during these two the players are not allowed to sleep because of the loud thunder and lightning here and here the during the full moon night or during the night wolves move and attack twice so this is also something that might be problematic so there are definitely cards in this weather deck that are not so nice than than all the other cards we have been drawing so far but let's give every player one card. Here's the card for the white player. And here we have the leftovers. Place this card in front of you. After you have killed an animal or found food, you may later at any time discard this card to roll a die to reduce your hunger by that amount. This is a really cool one. I think this is something that he might do now. And then we have where am I play during nature's turn. You may move an opponent one step in any direction. This is cool. Okay, so this is the perfect card against the black player so but it's really lucky for him that we only have drawn this single card here but of course the red player is also allowed to draw a card and so does the black player and i think the first thing that the white player will do now is search for food and ah, that's perfect that's a nine so for once one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He can reduce his hunger and then he will play. Oh, should he? Should he play the leftovers card? Ah, that's now tricky. Of course, this card is also cool for or against the black player and he's really way behind. Ah, that's tough. No, I think I will keep the card for now. No, I think I will. I will play it against the black player. That, that's for sure. Okay, red will move three spaces or three energy points to this forest area. He still has two more energy points left and I think with those he will take a rest action. So he regains one level of energy. Okay, with three energy points he will move into this swamp area. For once he would be allowed to yeah, put his thirst all the way to the left and then he would have to draw a sickness card but red player will play a card against him sigly play before a sickness card is drawn by an opponent you may search the sickness card deck and select a card for that player instead then reshuffle the deck this is really a mean one this is a card he just drew during the um, new day basically so yeah let's discard this one and then he selected the hallucination card for the black player. You are lost. Then this card, this card. There are definitely way meaner cards in the deck. But right now, as he's standing so close to the village, I think really getting lost is the best that the red player can do. So let's roll a die. And see where he moved to. That's a five. Okay, that's good because this means he has to move in the swamp region again and of course he will lose the remainder of his turn okay tip, tip, and tip. okay he's losing three points one two and three okay for him it's really getting also a little bit of dramatic and here we have one two one and two i think he's still doing okay i guess of course we have still animals on the board that's a three the three is here the wolf the six okay so they meet up there somewhere in the desert not really a problem for the players and last but not least we will move the weather marker one space ahead i think he will just move on two spaces here and this costs him four energy points which is all that he has Oh, red is also in a very bad situation right now. So I think he will move down here to this forest area and then again he has to take a rest action with his remaining two points. But he really is very far from water. That's really a problem for both of the players. So for white and red now. Okay, black will try it again. He will move down 
here. Again, he's allowed to drink, so we can reduce his thirst accordingly. And again, he has to draw a sickness card this time. No player will object. And so he got a sunstroke move, moving into grassland and rocky areas during your daylight increases. Thirst one step. This card, this card after the end of the next day. After the end of the next day. Okay, well, that's definitely a tough one. And yeah, this is something that he has to keep. Nevertheless, he still has three more movement points to go. And so he will keep on moving and he will move into this forest area over here. So he's so close to this village tile here. Three po movement points more. And I really now, I should have really kept this card that give, gave him three extra energy. I was not thinking straight. Ah, oh, this is really tough. He would really made it to the village now. Let's start the next nature's turn and White will play a card. And this says, where am I? Play during nature's turn. You may move an opponent one step in any direction. And guess what? We will move the black player again into a swamp area, which also means he has to draw himself another sickness card. And it's getting better and better. Diarrhea, you lose your next turn, then discard this card. Wow, that's really tough for him. Okay, we have to live with that. And he was really expecting this to happen, of course. Still, we have to adjust the tracks. So he's down to only three energy. Red will keep on losing three points. And let's see, one one so he would lose two levels of energy so i think this time he will play the endurance card play on nature's turn this turn you don't need to move your exhaust exhaustion except during animal attacks but we won't see any so he will keep his energy level at six let's move the snake that's a two we'll move down there that's a five so the wolf will move up there and the day goes on. Again, white has to take a rest action. There is no way around this one. Not a rest action, a sleep action. One, two, three, four. This allows him to decrease his exhaustion for steps. And I think red will go hunting. Let's see, that's 10. Okay, that's perfect. So he basically has reduced his hunger to zero. And black still fighting with his diarrhea, so we can at least discard this card, but this was basically the turn of him. So, nature's turn, that's two levels of exhaustion for white. And here, thirst is really getting a problem. Oh, one, two, and three. And who would believe that? So red is really on the verge of death here, and well, I never thought I would really make this would be a breakthrough and he was running through the village with no problems at all. Yeah, but this is really a mean little game and can change all the time. Okay, one, one, again he would lose two levels and again he has an endurance card. Yes, he really had two of those this turn. You don't need to move your exhaustion except during animal attacks. Again, he stays at six energy points. Last four hours of daylight and white will just move here. He has still two more points left and with that he will take a rest action. And red can't do anything. He has three and movement points so he could move into the mountain. But no, I think he really has to take a sleep action and this before the night starts. So let's move energy track one two three four spaces to the left then it's the black player he will move here again he can reduce his thirst of course this were the first three energy points and with the remaining three energy points he will move into the village and if he would make it until the end of the complete turn basically he would be the winner but as I check out my card at this time right now, I don't see nothing bad will happen. So they don't have any card. They could increase his hunger and stuff like that. But apart from that, he will be just fine. So we can clearly say that black 
will be the winner of my playthrough of Wilderness. I really hope you enjoyed my little playthrough of Wilderness here. It's really a mean and backstabbing little game. You have to be in the right mood to play that and you have to play it with the right people. So really in your face kind of stuff is not for all the players around the world. So I think there are really some folks who shouldn't play games like this. I really enjoyed this exercise here to be honest so uh, and I'm really looking forward to play this with some of my buddies maybe even with my wife I don't know um, let's see if our marriage is as strong as I think it is <laughs> I will let you know afterwards and yeah I, I really enjoy it so I think of course the game itself from the rules it's, it's pretty simple but I think this game really lives from the weather cards sickness card and those event cards where you can really use them to strategize a little bit and think ahead so I think what I did and really just drawing out those cards blindly without any thinking of it I think this is something that you normally should not do so you should really keep some of your cards when you really need them and adjust not just to play them because you are a mean little bastard. Yeah, and then hope to see you soon in one of my next videos and until then, bye bye. <laughs>